I feel like uh, Rafiki from The Lion King. It is time. <laughs> All jokes aside, I thought that was funny because this is serious stuff here, but I'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video element. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Um, I am going to try the new or seasonal flavor grapefruit salt. Um, as you know, I have not tried this yet and I know a few of you have said that you are waiting on your shipment to come in. And uh, first of all, I wanna say thank you for ordering with my link. And second of all, let me know what you think when you do try it. But we are going to make this now. This is a seasonal flavor that they have. It's just during the summertime and I hear that it sells out fast. So if you're interested, definitely go down below. I will have the link in the description box. It is drinklmnt.com slash mission keto. And with any purchase that you make, you will get a free sample pack. That sample pack has all eight of their flavors, um, does not include this. So you definitely are gonna wanna check this one out. This is right up my alley. And I'll be honest, Andy was like, oh, I don't like grapefruit. I'm like, well, you don't like limes and lemons either, do you? You don't just take a lemon or a lime and bite into it. And citrus is his favorite one, no oranges. He likes oranges though, so that really didn't make sense at all, did it? <laughs> but anyways, I think he might like this too. But just remember, they always have 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. And magnesium is probably one of the biggest um, electrolyte that we are um, needing to replenish in our bodies. So make sure you go down below and check that out. Um, again, it is drinklmnt.com slash mission keto. Now, let's try it. All right, you can even get this handy dandy little Yeti online also. And that counts as a purchase. It's any purchase. They have merch. They have a cool hat. Andy has it. It's really cool. Mm. Oh, it smells grapefruity too. All right, let's get the water in here. I'm going to pour it from my reservoir. One of the things that I love about Element 2 is that it dissolves very easily. It's not chunky or clumpy or anything like that. And they also give you advice on um, how to start with it because it is salty. Um, you're putting sodium in you to replenish electrolytes. So you can start with way more water if you want or you can start with a little bit less like I do. Like it doesn't bother me. Um, they're chocolate flavors. I know that's a pretty strong flavor and some people don't like it. It's too much, so start small. All right, someone's life's about to change. I'm excited. Ooh, it smells grapefruity too. That is delicious. I know what the hype is now. Wow. It has a pretty strong grapefruit, but with the sweetness of like all the other ones, because it is sweetened with stevia. But there is that, it even has an aftertaste that's not bad. It's grapefruit, wow. Way to hit it out of the park, Element. Make sure you guys go down below and get yours before it gets sold out. Thank you, Element. Now, let's get into this grocery haul. All right, first part of the haul is Publix Vitamin Shop and CVS. So I did get three packs of the Aquafina. They were buy two, get one free. That really lasted us a long time last time. So it was just nice to kind of stock up on that. I haven't bought any in a while. Um, I forgot to get chicken wings at Aldi. So I got these at Publix. Um, so I don't know. I really love the ones at Winn-Dixie and Aldi's the best, but this'll do. This'll do. Um, I've got a big pack of coffee pods for Andy and I. He really likes the Dunkin'. He's getting bougie with his coffee, but I got the decaf for him. And then this one was like on a special. I can't remember how much it was, but it's just a regular plane for me. We needed some toilet paper. Um, got some LaCroix sparkling water. I looked, searched for ones that had the extra free cans in it. Um, Andy's favorite is like the orange or the tangerine. And then I'll drink any of them, honestly. And these two had the, uh, 
extra cans in it, so I went for those. Um, got a jar of mayo just because I feel like I'm going to be running out of it, but mayo is expensive. This was like $7.69, and the store brand was a little bit cheaper, but I bought an app had like $2 off, so I'm always down for like getting it back because I really love the gift cards at the end of the year that I give myself for Christmas shopping. And you see only two of the Stevia drops here. That means they are no longer on special two for $4.49. They're actually $4.49 each. Isn't that crazy how they get away with that? I don't know. I got a couple of nice sized tomatoes. I got a couple big ones because I, you know, you know me, I love those BLTs um, that I've been making with the tomatoes as the bread. And I love it when you guys tell me you try it and you love it. I'm so happy about that because it is really good and good for you and refreshing for the summer. I got the herb coated salami that we love. And I did get some of the Tyson blackened chicken strips. Um, these are just so delicious for wraps or for adding into a salad or sometimes I just like to air fry them, chop them up, throw some cheese on top and maybe like some buffalo sauce. It's just delicious. Um, did get some cream cheese for some recipes that I'm going to be making. That is everything that I got at Publix. So I also, we were out of our iron that we take. So I get this one at Vitamin Shop. So I went over there and picked that up. And then CVS, I was like, you know what? I need shampoo and conditioner. Let me get it from CVS. And they have these. I just love a good deal. I am, I'm not a couponer by any means, but um, these were two for nine. And then there was two $1 off coupons for one of each of these, like a dollar off of shampoo, a dollar off of um, conditioner. And then they had another like manufacturer coupon for $3 off. So that's $5. I got two for four. That's a really good deal. That just made me happy. And then I got this eyebrow pencil from NYX. I just use different ones, whatever's on sale at the time. I think I had $2 off of that brand. Plus I had over $5 in bucks. So I really feel like I got a good deal. So next I will show you my Aldi haul. Whew, okay. The grocery hauls are like the easiest ones to do, but they are, they can be exhausting too. In and out of the car, in and out of the store, setting it up, putting it away. But it is fun. But look at this. I got this at Aldi's. It is a pickleball set. I have no idea what pickleball is. It looks kind of tennessee, but lower, like bat, not maybe racquetball and tennis ball mixed together, but this is like an easy setup one. And Andy and I have a pretty good sized um, driveway that we um, have. And we also live in a cul-de-sac. So I'm like, either way, I showed him this. And he was like, yeah, get it. And we're trying to do more movement for the month of June and really just forever. And sometimes it's more fun to do an activity than just walking. We're still gonna be doing our walking, but I thought that would be fun. But anyways, here is everything that I got at Aldi's. I did get some more shredded lettuce. I need that for my BLTs and for salads. I did get some cheese wraps. Not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet, but I just felt terrible walking by and not getting those because I just love them. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And they're so much cheaper at Aldi's, this brand. It's only like $4.69. And I know Publix, the other brand, the Folio brand is like $6.99. So um, I got Andy some more of these sugar-free um, uh, sugar-free smoked sausages, like snacks for Andy. He's really liking those and the jalapeno ones, but I just got these today. Got some more paper plates. Did get some more butter. We have one more block of butter from our Costco haul, um, but I do need this. I need some extra butter for some things I'm making this weekend. So we are going to have a meal prep video coming, so stay tuned for that. Um, I got some cottage cheese for a recipe. Got a couple of their pasture-raised eggs. I do get the um, the really good quality eggs at Aldi's because they're pretty inexpensive, just a little over four bucks. Got a couple of their candles. I really love their candles. I got the Cocoa Cove and the Gardenia scented one. I got a couple of heavy whipping creams for recipes and then of course our half and half. The um, two blocks of cheddar, some Swiss and Gruyere. I've never tried this before, but I hear it's really good. This is the carnivore portion of the haul. Um, I did get Andy a ribeye steak. I really like their uh, red meat there at Aldi, but it looks like it is $11.99 a pound. 
and this was like 13 bucks, but one meal, that's not bad really. I got a big, huge pork loin. I like to make the um, pork uh, air fryer bites. This is a half pork loin. It was a total of $8.49, $2.09 a pound. I, I think that's pretty good. Got some more of these beef burgers. I always like to try to show you guys if I remember. All it is is beef, that's it. And this one's an 85.15. Aldi's also has like a 75.25, I think. That's pretty fatty though. And Andy's really like, he doesn't want too much grease and fat. You know what I mean? So I think this one works just fine. Um, I got a chuck roast, of course, and the thin sliced sirloin steaks that he likes. We did get some of those. We love cooking those up with some bacon. Well, I love cooking it for him. I don't like eating it. And then, of course, I got five pounds of bacon. We did, I think there's like a couple more slices of bacon pre-made in the fridge that'll probably be gone today. But we are going through bacon like nothing. And I'm so thankful that it's like four, four sixty nine a pound at um, my Aldi's. So I'm looking around making sure I don't forget anything. I think that's everything. So thank you again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. And thanks everyone for watching. And stay tuned for our next video. We're gonna do a meal prep. Have a great weekend. Bye.